So in the last section, we look at uh, how we can call uh, Excel files or uh, CSV files into Python and start to do or access some of the basic features. And uh, before we proceed, I just want you to pause and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't to. Many of you are watching but are not subscribing and that is not good for business. So please subscribe before we can proceed with our data science journey. So in this uh, previous section, we basically look at how we can access the first few data points uh, uh, using the function called head in pandas. And I want us also to, sometimes you don't want to look at the five first lines. You just want to look at the first or maybe two lines. So you can do that by simply doing df.head bracket and inside bracket specify. So if I want to view the first one, two lines, I'll just add two there. If I want to view the first uh, six lines, I'll add that one, six, seven, like that. So you can basically specify the, uh, the first or the number of lines you want to view. As you can guess, you can also view the last few lines in a data of the data frame. So you could do that by using tail, which is a function. And uh, let me just for now have it like that. So it will show me the last five data points. I can equally do that to just show the, the last three data points. And you can see it's Liberia, Mozambique, and DRC Congo. All right, this is now getting interesting. Now, the next part is to, let's say that uh, you want to access only specific columns of this data frame. So maybe you are just interested in the country and the person or the, uh, the country that colonized it. So you can do that by just doing DF to mean the data frame and have opening and closing square brackets and then add another opening and closing square bracket and the first one specified the column we want to access i'm gonna access country so it's a good practice to normally copy it because you might be having white spaces within your data frame and then comma so i only want to access this column and the colonizer so who is the colonizer in this case Good. So when we run this, you can see it only turns the two columns, even though our data frame has got five columns. So it tells the country and the colonizer. Kenya was colonized by British, Nigeria the same, Ethiopia was never colonized. South Sudan was part of Sudan and it uh, got independence or broke away from Sudan. So colonizer is not applicable in this section. So this is how you apply. Uh, you only select a few columns so equally i can add a third column here so you can add as many columns as you want so let me add coup so those are like how many military coups each of these countries have had so it's only namibia that hasn't had any military coup good so now we have uh, we can access few columns in our data frame the next thing that i want us to look at is uh you just want to access specific uh, rows so maybe I, j I just want to access row three to row six or data points from three to six i can do that easily by just doing this if you recall call the data frame name which is df and uh square brackets if you recall the way we accessed in list is the same thing so those skills are really really good so I'm, I want to access Namibia to Senegal. So if I want to do that, I will specify the first one, which is three. That is the index of Namibia. And then Senegal uh, is uh, index uh, five. So if I want to include Senegal, I have to write six because the last figure is not inclusive. So if I type six here, it's going to return Namibia and up to Senegal. So you can see it has returned each of those data points. So that is how you access specific types of uh, data points. Or sometimes you might also want to access just single column. 
you can do that by just doing df and i want to access country so you can you have this option of just doing df.country which is the column name make sure it matches the spelling otherwise you're gonna get an error so run that you can see it's returning the country alternatively if you don't want to do that and this is the one i like because it looks nice i always use the square brackets and then do country as i said it's important you copy it instead of typing uh, this is it returns the country so you, that is how to access a single column remember i've taught you how to access multiple columns that's done i want us to look at uh, basic operations or basic uh, statistical analysis of uh, a given data so why don't you get a column for that or not a column but heading and i hope you know how to do that from our jupyter tutorial or you can just watch me do it but if you haven't done that you can go and watch the video on jupyter that will be good so let's do basic statistical basic i don't think let's look more complicated basic descriptive statistics in pandas all right so let's start or oh, and let me just print the data frame again it's using head so that you can have our data so let's say that i'm interested in knowing uh, the country with the highest number of coups so how do i do that so we know that uh we have got the coup column and uh, that coup column is uh, labeled coups. So how to access that? Uh, Pandas gives you a set of functions that allows you to do basic statistical analysis in uh, Python. And a good one is the maximum. So I can, uh, I can know that by simply doing df dot and uh, specify the column name. So the column name here, I don't do dot, it's df, square bracket, then the column name in, inside the strings because it's a string. Uh, cop copy it and then after that i simply add dot then max to mean maximum and then opening and closing brackets and this will return the maximum coups in that column so to do that you can see it's eight and uh, that's nigeria of course it had to be nigeria sorry nigerian peeps uh i can equally do the same for minimum so there's a function for that. Uh, you just have to change this to mean and it return the country the minimum because I think it's uh, Namibia, one of my favorite countries. Uh, we can also do uh, an average a number of coups for these countries that is presenting this data. And uh, to do that, we just copy this and use mean, replace that with mean. The average coup is three so that means it, it has added all these number of coups and then divided by the total number of data points in this uh, kind of data also as you can imagine there are other tools like standard deviation you can do that by knowing how much each of these uh, coup countries vary from the mean so we have got uh, that's the standard deviation of the coup column so as you can imagine you can also change this to successful as long as it has got uh, integers or floats to help you with that. So that is to do with the uh, basic statistics. Of course, uh, there's a very powerful function called describe and this will give you or will return the basic descriptive statistics of your data uh, for the column that is uh, the first column that is numerical in nature. So if I do df.describe, it will return, it will basically return all, all the data that I need, or all, all the, sorry, how to do, it, uh, describe, open and closing bracket. It returns all the basic statistics of this data, or of the first numerical data. So it, uh, the first, our first numerical data is coos. So it has returned the basic statistics of the coup column. So you can see 
the count is 11 basically it has counted each one of these one two three up to the last one so basically this is the number of data points and then it has returned mean remember we calculated mean as three it has also returned the standard deviation which we calculated as 2.75 blah blah uh, it has returned the minimum uh, which was zero it has returned the 25th percentile and uh, 50th percentile and the 75th percentile so this is in other words the position of each of those and then the last one it has returned the maximum which we calculated and found that it's a uh, it's a uh, nigeria for that case by the way to know which country uh print country alongside this valley i will show you in the next video so this marks the end of uh, our second video on uh, basic operations in uh, using pandas and uh, please head to the subscription section and subscribe give this video a thumbs up and uh, let's learn more of this in the next video